Uh, my story is a lot worse than Kyle's. Um, <laughs> divorce is definitely <laughs> happening here. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm watching a vlog, so that's what that music is in the background. So I've been working on like the winter storage for the kids. We'll see, like I'm not convinced they're gonna still fit into this stuff in the winter, but anyway, I think I'm done. That's the winter stuff I'm gonna keep. And then I've got a pile for donation. And that is what's left for Greg. Some of his clothes are in the laundry, so there's a few more things. Oh, there's another Goodwill pile. Got them going on everywhere. And then look at this. Audrey got into a wipes box and spread them everywhere. Yay. Okay, I made his bed. You know, he. we really need to get Grayson to convert this. This bed converts to a full-size bed, and we really need to do it. We just keep, I don't know, we just keep putting it off. Like, I don't know. We just, we just need to get a box spring and a mattress and the frame, and then it hooks to the base, the backboard. We need to do it. He's he's way too tall for this. I'm still working. So there I got all the winter stuff right there. And then as I showed you guys a minute ago, we've got Grayson's closet. So this is how I've done this. On this side, <laughs> this side, is everything that is his size that he's growing into, like the 4T. This side is the stuff that I'm keeping that's a 3T that we need to as he wears it, we need to check it for sizing because some things are longer so they still fit, some things are shorter. Maybe we should get rid of them. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Come here. What happened? You bumped your head? It's okay, honey. Yeah, it's a baby. You want to see the baby? See the baby. Oh, that poor baby. Now she's mad because I won't let her have the camera. So, I guess she wasn't hurt too bad if she's, it's changed to anger. <laughs> Mama. Oh, so Audrey is going through a uh, stage where she has to pretty much be touching me constantly. Sitting on my lap, being with me. She'll go and play by herself a little bit, but not like she, she used to be a lot more independent. Now she's just mama, 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 mama. And I don't really mind. So I gotta tell you guys the truth. I have had uh, two, three, three dreams in the last week. So like that recent and that can that much. I mean that's a lot for a one time about me being pregnant. But like I'm not happy about it. Like I'm upset and I'm like I don't know. I guess I'm not ready for another baby yet. Cause but I keep dreaming about being pregnant and I keep dreaming about that and. It's weird, y'all, it's weird. But in the dreams, I'm always upset or worried or scared. Like, I'm kind of happy, but like I'm, I'm more like concerned than happy. So it's, I don't know, I don't know what that means or doesn't mean. <laughs> Hi, you're playing like such a good girl. Look at her in here playing, y'all. By herself, she's doing her shape. That little shapes cookie jar toy we've had since Sophia. All three of the kids have played with it. Is it turned off? I'll turn it on for you. <laughs> Look what the kids are doing. They opened up their huge Easter bunnies. Are they good? What's wrong? Finger stuck? You put something in there? That wasn't smart. We have come to a party at the Astrodome. That's right, the eighth wonder of the world. They're having a party to try to promote it because everyone wants to save this place. People want to tear it down too. We're trying to reconnect with Lindsay and Chris. They're here as well. Finally, we found Lindsay. This line is ridiculous. Awesome. What, a mile long? No no kidding? It's yeah. long. Yeah. She's simply awesome. <laughs> that didn't work very well, it's so the Nick, 
name the eighth wonder of the world? The ceiling is 208 feet tall. <laughs> you, you gotta look. 208 feet tall. It's 710 feet in diameter. Wow. We're brought onto the field. I haven't teams looked at dinner together for anything oh. I've said. The first <laughs> yeah, Chris just knows his information. <laughs> Kyle's using a cheat sheet. I'm looking at it. It's, pretty, it's the fascinating. First, the I don't. First I trust me. I don't know anything about the Astros before the 90s. Uh, I was about when you know. <laughs> you failed, Lindsay. We already found that out. Uh, doesn't I feel like we're being evacuated into some like sort of safety thing. Oh, yeah. Old Astro Turf. <laughs> Can you describe the smell? Go ahead. The smell, it's, it's um, a little musty. Musty? It's not bad. Not I was bad. going for dank. Dank was the word I was looking for. It's a little, a little mildewy. Mildewy. A little musty smell. Don't love it. <laughs> but not horrible. And I don't. I'm, it's tolerable. Tolerable. It's, it's nostalgia is what you're smelling. You're smelling the memories. Smelling the memories. They're, they're pungent. <laughs> they're rich memories. Rich, dank memories. Kyle and I are walking. Look, there's some popcorn, Kyle. Oh. Nostalgic popcorn. Oh, I'm gonna I already pointed that out when I first came in here. <laughs> you saw on my vlog. <laughs> on Chris's vlog, he pointed out the popcorn already. <laughs> nostalgic just, popcorn. Just the green carpet. Oh. Well, I just saw nostalgic popcorn, so when. Yeah, I wonder how long that popcorn kernel's been there. <laughs> it's a little kernel of history. <laughs> I like what you did there. All right, guys, turn around, give it another look. One last look. Green pylon. What are we doing? The wave. Oh, the wave. <laughs> Going around really fast. We're out. That was really fun. Okay, guys, we just went on a tour of the Astrodome. Most of that footage is going to be on our main channel. Kyle's waiting in the car for me. Hello! Because I was filming still. So I'm glad we got there relatively early because oh it's crazy gosh. now. Yeah, I have the keys. There's, right? There's 50,000 people here. There's it's more people crazy. at this game than there are in the Astros game. It's crazy. It's good. Yeah, it's good. good. All right, guys, we are at this little dive place. Underneath the freeway. Underneath the freeway, literally. I don't know what I'm gonna find here that I can eat, but I'm willing to try. Look at how patriotic these burgers are, y'all. Oh, I already ripped the flag out, jeez. I'm <laughs> Lindsay's like, I'm sorry, I filmed you mid bite. That was rude of me. <laughs> so this place is automatically awesome because they serve Diet Dr. Pepper. Yes. And buffalo. And buffalo. Chris and what? Kyle got buffalo burgers. Thank you, you so much. Chris and Kyle, yeah, they got buffalo burgers. The aftermath. Oh yeah. <coughs> Kyle put chips on his burgers. Yeah, it is. It's delicious. So, since it was a buffalo burger, does that make it a buffalo chip burger? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Some people probably don't know. What's a buffalo chip? Explain this to them, guys. Uh, it's a dried uh, poop. There you go. <laughs> it's already being told. I'll tell my story. We used to be Kyle's telling a story. Chris was telling the story when my camera died, and now I won't tell the story. I'll tell the story once, once okay, Kyle breaks all right. the ice. So me and a friend uh, next to, uh, next to, across from the street from him was, uh, they grazed cows there. And we used to go over there and play football, and it was just kind of like a field. We could play football, we play soldiers, all kinds of stuff. There. Anyway, one day we like picked up the cow patties and like had a cow patty war. Oh. Yeah. Dang, Kyle, now we're going to have to get a divorce. <laughs> Yeah. But what were yeah, cow patties were like stuffed down people's shirts and stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lindsay, 
It was I awesome. You, no, it, was, it wasn't. It was just me and me and my friends. Like, no, so. I'm just saying. Like, I'm commiserating with Lindsay right now. You couldn't have told me this before I married him. Boy, boys, boys find ways to entertain themselves. So. Yeah, I, I'm sure that's exactly. Well, what I was trying I know, to say earlier Chris's before my camera died is that, that theme, I'm in sure. the I'm olden sure days, <laughs> in the olden days, people used to take the buffalo chips, which Burn. were their poop, and they would throw them for sport. Whoever threw theirs the longest, like my a frisbee. God. They would use them for firewood. Yeah. So that happened. So Chris. <clears throat> Uh, my story's a lot worse than Kyle's. Uh, <laughs> divorce is definitely <laughs> happening here. <laughs> Lindsay already knows the story. So, okay. I've never read it before. I you the story. In spite of it. <laughs> okay, so I was in Boy Scouts, uh, and we're camping uh, and at this one particular campground. Did you ever go to Camp Beauvais? Yeah. Okay, you, yeah. you know it's basically a big cow yeah. pasture. Uh, I don't remember where it is exactly, but it's basically a big cow pasture. So there's, there's buffalo chips or cow pies everywhere. Uh. You know, this guy, <laughs> this guy's making his little, you know, cup of noodles soup, right? So I thought it would be hilarious to get a spoonful of the dried cow patty powder and sprinkle it in a soup. Oh. Nobody liked this guy, in, in my defense. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which guy didn't they like? Cause the guy who we... I'm pretty sure the guy we don't like in the, in the troop was the guy who put poop in other people's food. <laughs> that guy Did he no notice? Guy. Did he notice? I don't, honestly, I don't even remember, like, the aftermath of it. I just remember doing it and running away. It's I probably something traumatic me. happened to the guy until you blocked it from your I memory. Yeah. <laughs> Super pressed. So, guys, we found out that this place, that little sign there that you can't really see from here, but this place, um, there's a place apparently called, what is it, Texas Bucket List, uh -huh. the TexasBucketList.com, and this place is on it. So, check check so we're gonna go look it up and try to find the There's other actually places only two things on the list it's like come, <laughs> come to texas eat some burgers no one of them is Alamo. one of them is eat at bubba's burgers and then one of them is meet kyle and court that's right oh to kyle and court. Check. you can do that anywhere <laughs> <laughs> and a boy there we go <laughs>